Epic is a platform known for having the most devious of streamers and any degenerate action you can think of, Kick will be there no matter what. We've seen people cause fights in public, sniffing the chair of their father, and IRL hunting for Preds. And despite all of the madness, there are some who have taken it so far, their accounts got banned, and in some cases, others sent to jail. How does anyone get managed to get banned off Kick? Well, the first two guys are currently on an ongoing scandal for being alleged of PDF of- What are you doing? Our first degenerate is a John Zerka. Most people aren't terminally online, so let me give you his anime villain origin backstory. Zerka first appeared on an old dating show that was for streamers, so a lot of the guys who were on it before him were, uh... BETA! So here comes a 7 foot 6, a tatted up, jacked dude who didn't have a nervous breakdown when talking to chicks. His refreshing aura gained him 500,000 followers in one day. Like him or not, you gotta to admit that's impressive. Throughout the years, Zerka became friends with a lot of the fraud pill commu- <coughs> I mean, uh, the red pill communities like a Cucko- <coughs> Oh my god, why do I keep stuttering? Sneeko and a Fresh and Fit, even appearing on their podcast. And so I worked with <laughs> for four years, and if you count nightclub bouncing, I worked with for like almost 10 years, right? So I know the nature of- And they've never done an allegation against me, because then a million will come out and say, no, he's a good guy, and this is mad because I- the 28 and I have an 18 year old app. Do the math. What, what would you do? Huh? What am I going to go into the used car, car lot? I'm like, yo, I want to stay with the teenager, bro. I want to talk about anime. This clip perfectly shows everything Zerko represented. He can be a funny guy, though his last statement was foreshadowing his fate. The second degenerate, Heel Mike, is another popular streamer. He started off on Twitch playing Fortnite with a sizable audience. Mike also made a YouTube channel that would be vlog-centric content. Until he dropped I Got a Tinder Girl to Come on Stream, getting almost 2 million views. Coming off the success of that video, we got I Got an OF Girl to Come on Stream and Sleeping Stream with a Tinder Girl. As you can see, this content was made for the brightest of our society. So now that we know who our two culprits are, what did they do to get band off kick. We have to go back to January 20th of 1961 when John F. Kennedy began- Wait no, that's a little too far back. Last week, Heel Mike and John Zerka did their regular IRL picking up girls a shtick. They spot a couple chicks, ask for their ID, then this happens. Hey, no, no, you too. Hey, my God. Yeah, put your number here because I'm a little late. Where do you need hundreds? What? Perfect, perfect. How old are you? Prove it. You're 20? Oh, no ID though. What did you say? What did you say, Mike? Bro, this ain't the US border. She's gotta have some ID. Zerka does try to get an ID out of her. But my mommy smoked cigarettes. I don't like that. Don't say your mommy. What the hell old is this girl? You're, all right, just give me the ID before I look crazy. Let me see. What I'll makes you think you I need to have an ID? You don't have ID on you and you want to come over? Are you out of your mind? This moment right here is the beginning of the end. The disaster ahead could have been completely avoided if Zerka would have exercised some patience and caution. What doesn't help is what they say on the way back home. I get in, get in. I'm the one that likes teenagers. They got your ass on camera. This is the clearest video I've ever seen. This is the most HD ever. After getting a bit intimate, he continues to ask about her age. As messed up as this situation is, what has me in tears is the third guy getting increasingly suspicious of the entire ordeal. Telling Zerka there may be a conspiracy afoot. We did a quick ID check on both She flashed it on her phone. Oh my god, we saw it, didn't we? We're not doing this joke. It's not happening. It's not happening. I got anxiety, bro. I don't want content. I got anxiety. Yo, Judge, I got anxiety, bro. Don't do this. Objection! And as if the situation could not get any worse, Mike continues to self snitch. We're not ID checking. This is 4K! How did they get you in 4K? Chat, I've got to be honest. I've got a little bit of sympathy for Zerka here. At the end of the day, she's allegedly lying about her age. And you can tell the prospect of her being underage is hitting Zerka real hard right about now. But when you're friend says a nonsense like that. Bro, what are you doing? And let's not even forget the fact that he's a full grown adult who shouldn't even touch her without being 100% sure that she's over the age of 18 or whatever the legal age is in their state. The reality of the situation starts to hit Zerka. He is sick. She ends up magically finding her ID that says 1998, completely different from the other ages she's been talking about, which gets allegedly confirmed the following day. Despite all of the cope, 
Mike and Zerka are cooked with their kick accounts banned. You have done that yourself. I don't wish that upon anybody, but in this case, they literally chose all of the wrong dialogue options. The only bright side, I suppose, is there likely won't be any legal action since the chick clearly, allegedly, lied about her age. Now, I can't say that about the next guy who got jailed in Japan. IRL streaming is a major part of Kick's content ecosystem, being a staple for based and red pill folk like Neon and Jack Doherty. And while those two dweebs cause chaos on stream, nothing compares to the infuriating degeneracy of a Johnny Somali. Nagasaki, you know. You know Hiroshima Nagasaki? We're going to do again. What? Hiroshima Nagasaki. We do again. Do you understand? You don't know. You know history. You know. For those who don't know, Johnny's entire shtick was going around public spaces in Japan and harassing the locals. When he says Hiroshima and Nagasaki, he's alluding to the tragedy of 1945 when the US dropped the little boy on the two regions of Japan. Tons of YouTubers like PewDiePie call him out on his behavior and say that he's ruining Japan. The last guy you, everyone's talked about this it, I'll just blur him and not talk about him, but it's still worth seeing the footage. He's all you need to know is he's a, he's a kick streamer. I should tell you everything. <laughs> everything you need to know. It's like bothering people on the subway, and then what? this Asian-looking guy shows up. You know where I'm from? Yeah, you're being obnoxious. You know what we do to you? What do you do? We will do again. He was making content on Borrow Time with the reality slowly catching up to him. He's been smacked, jumped, and dead in the face. Obviously can't show that, but boy is it satisfying. He was cooked. But since the views kept coming in, Johnny kept pushing the boundaries. Until September of 2023, where he was arrested for allegedly trespassing on a construction site. Oh, he's going into the warehouse? Now this is wild. Oh my god, chat. What the I get myself into. Oh, he's mad. Get He's getting activated, dog. Chat. Hey, Fukushima, the based worker takes him out immediately, understanding what was going on. On the way out, you can hear Johnny say Fukushima, again alluding to another disaster. This one was on 2011, where a nuclear power plant went off, which people say was caused by an earthquake and a tsunami. This compounded with him blasting music in a restaurant that led to his deportation from Japan. After a court case of nearly getting sent to prison, you would think Johnny learned his lesson. No! After being forced out of Japan, Johnny makes his way to Israel. Bro, what? And allegedly S harasses an officer, leading to him getting carried away and arrested. Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. That right there was the last straw for Kick, realizing this dude is in nothing but trouble. Johnny Somali was then banned off Kick. And now he's streaming on Rumble. Recently getting the hands from a pedestrian. I don't wish violence upon anybody. We don't have any enemies over here. But some people are so wildly degenerate, they just get what's coming to them. Just like the next guy whose depravity knows no bounds. Just a Snags is the kind of guy who insults the cartel for views, which should go to show you the kind of intellect we're working with here. A real wise guy. He originally was a streamer who played sports games like Madden, which should have further go to speak on his intelligence. We all know sports games are the red-headed stepchild of the gaming community. Alright, relax! I'm just kidding, take a joke! Eventually, his content branched out to speaking to strangers on the video chat sites, where we got to see him make fun of people on the spectrum. In another chat, he makes fun of a deaf girl for how she looks. I'm gonna blur her out, but you'll get the idea. Is it I don't care. You not bad enough. Your nose, you got on you. You look like you stink. Your hair look mad rough. Like your lips. Oh, you dumb. Your hands is mad fat. Stop speaking sign oh, language. This is the caliber of a scumbag we're dealing with here. Many clips like this grew Snags as an audience to the point where he became involved with Aiden Ross, one of Kick's biggest streamers who has his own questionable uh, reputation. 
Ross set up a boxing match meant for streamers who have beef with one another, in this instant Snags and X. Regardless of who won, this was a major exposure for Snags, an opportunity of a lifetime to grow his audience. You'd think a sane person would recognize this and clean up their act a bit, though just Snags is anything but a sane. A few months ago, the timeline to destruction started when he was on a chance site and came across a 14 year old. And before I show you the clip, think for a moment what he could possibly say live on camera in 4K to a 14 year old. So that what grade is that? Like a sophomore? Sophomore. Eighth grade? Can I play with that? Oh my god, man. What? Uh, what is wrong with people? This got the attention of internet personality Little Tay, who is about 16. That called him out for what he said. It. They have a back and forth exchange, ending with Snags saying that uh, she should go to uh, Jeff's Island with him. That was the straw that broke the turtle's back. Clearly, this guy was on another level of degeneracy and had to go. Honestly, guys, I have nothing to say after all of that. This is this is madness. Just watch one of my previous videos. I promise you'll enjoy them.